I love how I didn't take a shower today or shave, <laughs> and this is going to be my documentation forever. You know what, though? You're just, project. you're just fitting in the... Uh, first invention ever. You're fitting in the mold of the, <laughs> of the programmer engineer. Right. Yeah. I haven't showered and slept in days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we are in the arts computation engineering laboratory at the University of California, Irvine, in lovely Irvine, California. Uh, this is my final project for uh, two classes combined, hardware intelligence and microcontrollers. Um, so I've incorporated aspects of both classes into the project here. Uh, what I have built is a system that uh, translates pitch into the vibration of a motor. I've mounted the motor inside of a PVC tube here, um, and then I have shock absorption around the tube, uh, in between the tube and these mounting rings. Uh, the rings are, are, are mounted using screws and these pretty heavy duty braces or whatever these are called, uh, all on top of a piece of plywood. Um, the object is to have the, the motor vibrating this tube and a person can put their hand around it, gripping it and feel, uh, a vibration in their hands. It's actually a nice feeling. Um, the motor speed is con is uh, is controlled by pitch. Uh, in order to get the simplest tone out of my voice, I am whistling instead of singing, because a whistle has a, a much purer simple tone than a regular speaking voice. Um, I'm using the internal microphone in my laptop here to uh, as my audio input. I'm then using a program called Processing, which is based on Arduino. Um, and Processing is running my uh, fast Fourier transform, that's FFT, and generating uh, frequency bands, and then I'm m measuring the average amplitude of specific frequency bands that I determined by wh whistling and measuring the frequency in an oscilloscope. Um, so I got my, I divided it into four frequency bands just just to keep it n nice and chunky simple um, it's my l lowest note that I can whistle a fifth up from that the octave from that original note and then the highest note that I can whistle and uh, each frequency band is assigned to a specific motor speed so the lowest band uh, writes the sl slowest m motor speed and it increases as you go up. Uh, the computer is connected to the Arduino via a USB cable. Uh, I then have the Arduino speaking to the motor via this VN905 chip in the in the breadboard here. Uh, the switch and other stuff on here isn't actually doing anything in, in this project. I have this m makeshift heat sink on my VN905 because it gets really hot. Um, I will eventually mount an, uh, an external power supply, but at the moment I'm using the, this desktop one because the motor is a pretty beefy motor and it requires uh, about 12 v volts and 2 amps to run. So that's a pretty beefy 
power supply. So uh, that's the hookup and the description of how it works. Um, now I'm going to turn it on and demonstrate. And you'll notice uh, after I hit run here in my application, there will be a frequency spectrum graph on screen that you'll be able to observe the pitches that I'm whistling uh, graphically rising and falling. <coughs> All four pitches and speeds recognized correctly. <laughs> 